So the second game for my sort of shmup journey is Batsugan. And the reason I've chosen Batsugan as the second game is mainly because I wanted something retro, uh, something that was, you know, considered a bit of a classic, kind of like a really sort of defining game of the genre. Now, there were definitely other games I could have chosen, but um, yeah, basically I impulse bought this. Um, I'd heard about it as a, as a game that was, um, you know, awesome, and it's by Toa Plan, who are sort of very much map expert so I thought you know what let's let's give it a go and it's quite reasonably priced I got it for 25 pounds on the switch uh, imported and also I managed to get it for PC for dirt cheap as well I think about four pounds so I've got two versions of it I bought it twice and you know I like to have them on PC and switch if I can anyway so the game apparently there is a big elaborate backstory to Batsuken, which isn't evident in the game, but there is a manga that was released alongside it. I still, I'm still looking for it, so um, it seems to be very expensive if you can find it even. So I won't be getting that, but hopefully I can find a way to to, to read it one day. Um, but basically, yeah, you're part of the Skull Hornet sort of super duper pilots that um, are basically there to to stop this crazy ass king from from basically being a bastard. So yeah, I think that's basically the lines of the story. Um, you basically start off with, on the Switch Saturn Tribute version, you get the choice of the classic or basically the sort of new version of it. Um, and I have found the new version to be easier. Um, and the, you know, the, the sort of, certainly the, the, the look of the game is slightly different in both. Um, I think the, the original looks better. But um, I'm definitely playing the sort of uh, remastered version of it because it is easier and I cry less when I play that one. So I cry because this is a very hard game. Um, I found it quite challenging. Um, I'm not too good at this. After Blue Wish making me feel like an absolute legend and I thought, wow, I'm going to be some sort of some Mozart of, um, of, of, of shmups. But no, uh, this brought me crashing down to earth. Um, so once you've chosen your mode, you get a choice of three ships, type A, B, and C. I've mostly stuck to type A, but basically the shots are different. So I tend to always go with the, 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 the top, the default choice, just because I'm very much a, a sort of a newbie to this stuff. But yeah, it's, um, you know, to be honest, I found these sort of levels themselves pretty straightforward. The, the, I, I'm enjoying just, just sort of sort of playing through it you know doing runs in it every so often I'm still doing it now even though I've moved on to other shmups but you know it's um, for me the bosses are absolute carnage and uh, they rip me a new arsehole every single time every single time uh, the f first three bosses are more than doable I can probably get to, to, to the sort of fourth sort of uh, area there's only five I believe um, yeah so I get to there normally with most of my sort of lives and then it goes to hell and then I'm just left you know struggling on boss four I think it is and uh, yeah and I've still not cleared it I've got to, to, to area five level five and I think that is my limit for now but I'm gonna go back because I don't want bats are going to beat me down I'm gonna come back and smash it one day but yeah overall you know i've had no issues at all playing it on the switch or pc it works perfectly brilliantly um it looks absolutely stunning um to be honest with you considering this came out on the saturn it looks absolutely stunning and i know the saturn was a particular sort of expert with this sort of style of game and sort of sprite work as well and it is absolutely stunning music is utterly banging I could just listen to the soundtrack. I want the soundtrack for Batsugan. It's so good. And that is the one thing about Shmups. Music and the sound effects are just amazing. And they just make you feel like a badass. I love it. In terms of um, controls, really simple. You've got one button for fire, one for bomb. Bombs basically just fire one and it basically clears a lot of the crap off the screen, which is great, especially when you have a panic mode, which I have quite a lot in this game. So yeah, it's really straightforward. It just comes down to, you know, me not being good enough, to be honest with you. Practice would make perfect, and then I'm gonna come back and, you know, it's the sort of game that I'm just gonna come back to probably like every year and just give it a few runs. 
just because it's just cool and awesome. So I definitely enjoyed my time with Bats again. It's brought me down to earth, made me realise I've got a lot of work to do. And it really sort of inspired me to look at getting an arcade stick. And um, yeah, that's what I need. I need an arcade stick. I can't blame my Pro Controller for all the problems, but it's certainly not helping. I think I need something a bit more accurate, especially with how sort of finer movements you need to do with this game. And, you know, this was one of the first bullet hells, as far as I'm aware, uh, that and Toapan were kind of like ahead of the curve there. And this was also their last game, which is a shame. But yeah, I'd highly recommend Bats Again, um, particularly for a Switch collector, because it is so good. And it's, you know, it, to be honest with you, it makes me want to, you know, look back at other Saturn shmups that um, I want to play. But yeah, I haven't really got much in anything else useful to say, if I've said anything useful at all, but other than the fact that you should give this a go. And um, my next game is going to be a bit of a departure from what I've done, so it's going to be looking at Crimson Clover, which is a new shmup, uh, Bullet Hell, so back to Bullet Hells. Um, I suppose this is a Bullet Hell, I don't know what I'm on about, ignore me, but yeah. Crimson Clover next, and I think Game 4 will be Dan Maku Unlimited 3, which I have mentioned uh, that I love. So, yeah, uh, generally, every goddamn shmap I've touched, I've loved. Whether or not I can beat it, that's another story. But, god damn it, this genre is so good. It's amazing. And, you know, I've got old man hands, I've got old man eyes now. My brain isn't functioning too well these days, but. I just find it relaxing. I love the rhythm. When you get into it, you just zone out. You just you get into a trance and you just sort of blast your way through these levels. And even when you do badly, it's still enjoyable, which makes all the difference. So yeah, thanks for watching this, dudes. Um, yeah, come, uh, hopefully I'll have a uh, Crimson Clover stuff out soon. And uh, I'm continuing to collect shmups. Um, maybe looking at getting some for the PS4 now as well for trophies and stuff to see if it inspires me to try different stuff out. But yeah, thanks for watching. Stay awesome. Love you, bye.